What is up, gang? Uncle Trav coming to you again from the Donaldson area. We're getting spoiled with all these jobs close to home. We're doing a really awesome uh, pondless install on this, as well as a walkway and a patio and a destination area. Sort of a, I don't want to say one of everything again, but we got some unique stuff going on back here. Let's take a look. So back through here, we're going to do just a good old standard walkway. Brings the homeowner and guests, whoever, into this really cool backyard area that she's got. She started doing some terracing gardening. She's going to do some more of that in the future. We're going to set up a little retaining wall to kind of help her along with that. It's also going to hold back our walkway that we've got going in. We're going to leave these drains in place because she's got all this runoff when it rains. So we want to make sure we don't get any water under the neighbor's property. So we might have to adjust a couple of those, but we're not messing with those. Just going to have a good standard walkway through here. Like I said, two man retaining boulders here. Then we're going to have ourselves a walkway come right down through here to about here where Avery's putting the pondless stuff. It's going to be a big patio that goes in right here, all flagstone. We're also going to do some pathway lighting, uh, a new model of Vista lighting that I'm excited about. It's going to be uh, getting those installed later uh, in the week as well do some uh, accent lighting in the landscape. And we're gonna finish everything off by swinging down through here. I'm just gonna do a nice little walkway down through here. Love this echinacea. Uh, down to this spot right here. And then on the outside, we're gonna finish it off with what we call a, a delta stone, a landing stone, just kind of a, a bigger kind of get your orientation before you walk in the gate kind of thing. So this is day one. We're looking at, uh, we've got this puppy booked out for two weeks. So it's gonna be a bit of a long one. We love where we live, but we have um, a challenge of a backyard. My name is Lisa and we live in the Donaldson community near the lake. We have a, a giant slope that runs the whole length of the backyard and we've always had runoff from the slope that just created a lot of mud for us. So putting down a patio will address that for us. Mm -hmm. We've wanted some way to highlight the slope or um, add a feature that maybe feels like it has a purpose there. So for us, it was the pond. Additionally, my husband grew up with a pond in his backyard, so it was kind of fun for us to add it back into our, our home for that reason. been a fan of um, JVI Secret Garden since I've lived here in the Donaldson area. I think I just discovered it driving by one day. The landscaping that JVI Secret Gardens has just by their own front sign is unique and attractive to me and that's just always drawn me in. So I've been going to JVI Secret Gardens just as a, a garden center shopper for years um, and I've just always appreciated the, um, the atmosphere of the garden center and the friendliness of the staff. Because they have the water features um, and ponds on display at the garden center, we knew that this is something that they specialized in. So they had a reputation for installing ponds and, and we knew that we wanted somebody who knew what they were doing um, and had the skill set. Whether Derek realizes it or not, we've actually talked about a few projects over the past couple of years. Even the times that I never moved forward on a project, I just always felt like I had great customer service from Derek. He was always willing to spend the time talking to me over the phone or at the garden center about my, my idea or my project. Um, and I always appreciated that. All right, gang, we are all finished up, so let's take a look at what, what all we did here on the job. Starting where we started, uh, the customer asked if we could put a little landing stone outside the exterior gate here. Sure, not a problem. The guys came through, excavated this, we put down our base material, and they laid what is a really cool looking mosaic, uh, not tile, but mosaic pattern walkway. I love the tr striations and the patterns in these stones. What we did, we decided, Let's just take some one mans and build a little retaining wall here. What that does is that allows us to use dirt and our base material here to get the grade up here at the very bottom where we need it 
um, but also allow that runoff to come off the surface of the rocks and also to percolate down through the gravel. It's just gonna run over and through the patio and down into this grate and then it goes out to the street. But let's take a look at this uh, pondless that Avery built and see what's going on there. Avery did an awesome job on this waterfall. I, I love the built-in framer on this weir, this one as well. And he's pitched them in just a little bit and achieved a little choke out of that as well. Awesome waterfall, I love that. Simple and elegant. Let's take a look at this patio. Travis and his team working these last couple of weeks has been awesome too. From the beginning, Travis made sure to tell me that if I saw anything that I had questions about or ideas about, um, to, to speak up and just um, let him know what, um, what we needed to discuss. And I appreciated that. I appreciated being able to um, provide suggestions as we went along. We're very pleased with the outcome of it. We've got some more planting and some more work to do that'll really make the space come together as plants grow up larger around the space. Um, but we're really, we're really super excited about the water feature um, and even just the sound that it adds to our, our backyard. It kind of helps drown out the traffic that we live near. So another challenge we had on this one was we had to match the height from where you, the viewer, are seeing me, the presenter. This had to come up. No, I'm sorry. This had to come down. That had to come up. But we also had to hold this hill back. Um, so we literally just shaved this down to where we needed it to meet this elevation behind me and over there where you're standing. We just brought in some two mans, carved out a, a little section all the way up, as you can see, um, set our stones there, backfilled it. We're good to go there. Had to do the same thing here. So it's kind of a, like a sunken in patio. It's kind of groovy in that way. I really like how this turned out. The other cool thing was this transition of these steps. We had enough elevation change for two steps here. Uh, and then we had a, a flat spot here and we were gonna have to do another step here, but the homeowner didn't necessarily want another step. So we were kind of, we didn't know what to do. So we had the step here. So we just had the homeowner come out and we, we do this sometimes. We'll get, we'll get the homeowner involved and like they'll help us solve problems. And this one, the homeowner did, it, it was brilliant. I was, I was floored by how awesome this was. We just added the third step here and made this a little wider, added some framing stuff here and added kind of like a little micro landing here. It wasn't on the plan, but you know, we have to deal with the elevation. So this is probably my favorite part of this project is how this was like a collaboration and you know, uh, people meeting of minds kind of thing. My second favorite thing about the job is she wanted me to hide the gaps to kind of look like when they, when they bought the property, there was just a bunch of rough hewn stone here and they kind of came in and decided to carve these steps out of stone. Um, and I said, well, the easiest way to do that would be kind of how I hide edges in a pond, which is just put some, uh, some foam and some moss in there. And it came out really well. It looks like cottagey and kind of, kind of rustic, but kind of fun too. And she really likes it. And that's the most important part. So again, standard walkway through here, just keeps you moving through the space. The homeowner had, um, some little concrete steppers here that she asked if we could use some of the extra rock, the smaller stuff to make her some more, well, some steps that a little more substantial and they match what was here. So Avery came in and literally <laughs> he carved a path and put her in some nice little steps, a little turn here to transition into her terrace garden all the way up to the space up here. I'm thinking at some point they're gonna maybe end up doing some more stuff up here, but now they've got the opportunity to come up here and use this awesome hammock that I'm just now seeing. They're steep, but you know, it's a steep hill. I definitely recommend JVI Secret Gardens, um, and I already have to friends and family. Um, again, it was the thoughtfulness that Derek puts in when we're just consulting about a project, um, the, the attention to detail that his team had. Um, and then I've just always appreciated the garden center. It's a, it's a relatively small garden center, but I've always loved the selection that they have of their different plants. Um, and just the, uh, the great friendly staff that always welcomes you in. There you have it. Patio, walkway, pondless. Um, we've got some retaining walls going on here. We've got some boulder work. There's some landscape lighting, but you can't really see that because it's daytime. But what you can do in the meantime, like, follow, share, subscribe, leave us a comment in the comment section. What was your favorite part of this project? And more importantly, where would you like to see it in your yard? Uncle Trav, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.